Hello chaps and chapesses. You join me as we witness a beautiful sunrise over the island of Mob Trapia. Or something like that. Um yeah, so we're gonna continue work on the new mob trap area today. Um yeah. First things first, we're gonna be hooking up this pressure plate to a timer. Um, basically it'll be a five minute timer, which is the amount of time that items survive for uh, without despawning. So we had one of these in previous... <laughs> there's a creeper in the mob trap. But there is no mob trap! Impressive. Um, so yeah, I had one of these in my other mob trap area. Ah! No likey! Ah, there we go. Um, basically what it'll do is it'll send a redstone signal to a dispenser, uh, which will dispense an item when the first item stands on there. So that basically means that it starts the five minute timer. Um, at the end of the five minute timer, we'll automatically set it to push out this block and push any remaining items which may have got stuck on here, because it does happen, uh, get them pushed off into the water stream so that none of the items are going to be wasted, or one maybe at the very most will be wasted. Um, and then they will all collect down the bottom area here. So, first thing I need to do is dig out some space underneath the water for exactly this purpose. So, I will do so now and be back to you shortly. And here we have our dugout area. So we can take a small walk down here. So this is just about as much room as we're going to need for this. Um, we're not going to need a huge amount of space. Uh, one thing that has changed since well, I just dug that area out and, and had a look at how this might work, is... Uh, right, stop. Is this here. <laughs> Hold shift. There we go. Right, I did originally plan to put the uh, piston to push out the block above the iron bars and push the items off it. However, the block that is there with that repeater on it is where the piston would need to be. So that's clearly not going to work because there's not enough space there. So what we've done instead is we've put the iron bars on the sticky piston and by default that is extended because of this torch. So you can see in there that is extended because of that torch. Um, so it still serves exactly the same function. Um, you had to put that there, so it just keeps that one wide kind of kind of thing going. Uh, so it's exactly the same before. They'll still die on that, no problems there. Uh, what it does mean, however, is that when we disable that torch, even for a split second. that it retracts the iron bars completely and allows all of the items to drop down. So there is going to be no problems with that at all. That's going to work absolutely perfect. So let's just take this out of here. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is set up a little dispenser. If we head back down here. So this is where our pressure plate is that the items are going to land on. So let's get some cobblestone. Right, so directly below that would be there. Yeah, so we'll put some redstone on there. We'll just check and make sure that that'll work. I know it will, but we'll just make sure. So let's just dump that one there. There we go, so we've got active redstone there now. 
Now, if we put a dispenser, probably here, and put an item in it, I believe that should dispense the item. So let's try that again. Take that off there, and we'll put Yep, so you heard the little click, and you see there that it's dispensed our item. Perfect. Oh, I'm getting hungry. I need to eat uh, delicious bread. We'll do fine. Okay. So, what we'll do now is we will build a small surround. Oops. Not there, we won't. Uh, we'll build a small surround there and there. And there, I believe. And we will place another pressure plate in there. Now that should power that, which should power that. Hopefully. So let's test that again. Oh, it helps if we put an item in it there. So pretend that just spat out an item. Okay, that doesn't do that. So we'll need to... Probably just go underneath again would be the easiest thing to do. Right, that's fine. So we'll put some cobblestone there. We'll put more redstone there. And we'll put our pressure plate back in. Oh, let's go collect that item so that we can test it fully functional. Okay. Good, 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 good. Right, put that in there. We'll put some cobblestone in there. Okay. So when the item goes on to the pad, this should now come on. And it does. Perfect. Hmm. Oh, I think I'm probably, yeah, I'm probably walking by and collecting those, which is why that's happening. Normally it would just spit out one, and that would be it. Okay, so let's pretend it spits out one, like so. Yep, there we go. Okay, so this wire here is now going to be on for a period of five minutes. So that means that when the item in there despawns after five minutes, this line will go off. <laughs> it will go... Right, there's a weird bug there, obviously, which I'm going to have to try and fix. I don't know what is going on with that. some reason it just keeps on spitting out items. Anyway, I will fix that in a second. Anyway, <laughs> carry on with the theory. So after five minutes this wire will go off. We'll go off, like so. And we will then run a, a wire up to our torch here which will turn that off and suck that in for just a brief second enough time for the items to all fall off it into the water um, then after the pulse is gone it can extend back out again we're going to do a loop back around to the dispenser again to dispense another item and restart the five minute timer so basically every five minutes as soon as things start going then it'll 
shift that piston in and out and it will drop the items into the water stream uh, that means that we're not going to lose many if any items at all so I will look into fixing all that up now and find out what that weird bug was that's very strange um, and then I shall be back it's always fun when you think a thing is going to be easy and then you start to do it and it becomes less easy yeah so it's all working eventually things have expanded somewhat down here um, I will try and explain as best I can what's going on okay First things first, let's put some stuff in there so we can see those coming out. Right, so same principle as we had it before. Um, item falls on the pressure plate, transmits power to this piece of red here, inverts to here, so that goes off, into this one, which is also inverted, so that goes on, which will spit out an item onto this pressure plate. This pressure plate here will turn this on, therefore again inverted so that will turn that off so this chain will be off when there's an item on this okay because this is off that means these will be on and this will be on this one will be off that will be set in that position this torch will be off and this wire will be off got it good on the other side again exactly the same principle except not inverted so torch here is on at the moment when the redstone lights up and that will go off thus turning this torch on and it will make the um, piston do a rapid kind of motion Underneath here is a redstone torch, which powers that block. Likewise, powers this dot, inverts that, etc, etc, etc. Redstone wire all the way here through to this block. So both of these chains go to this block. Behind this block, you can't really see, but that is a redstone torch. Takes you up to this one. Another redstone torch takes you up to this one. Another redstone torch up to this one, another redstone torch, which is this one here for the piston which pushes the little iron bar. Following so far. So let's demonstrate what happens. It'll be easier to see in operation. So had so basically here's your mob coming down, da 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 you kill him, item drops. Watch the piston. Okay, now what that's done is the piston that we just watched and did the rapid pulse, it rapidly moved that back and then forward again. So it basically cleared any items which were on top of this block, so it sucked the iron bar back into that space and then pushed it back out again almost immediately. Okay. Also, at the same time as that, it spit out an item here onto this pressure plate, which has done absolutely nothing. Oops, oh, that's okay, we're still okay. So it's done absolutely nothing. This wire did not trigger when this got spit out. This wire will trigger when this despawns after five minutes. And I have literally sat and watched uh, for five minutes waiting for it to despawn and saw that and rapidly pulsed so same as that one pulsed rapidly this one pulses rapidly after five minutes up the for up the tower of torches and then out the back ugh, to the piston so it all worked uh, kind of confusing I've got to admit and a lot more complicated than I thought it was going to be but that's the way these redstone things usually go in Minecraft. Um, 
But yeah, that's basically it. So we'll probably hook up a tune or something to the despawn timer so that when the item is downstairs despawn it makes a little tune so that we know what's happening. At that stage, once the five minute timer is up, it will drop any items again which are on top of there. It'll chuck them down onto the pressure plate and that's your cue to go and pick them all up. Simples. Right, that's pretty much all the functionality done now. Um, so now we can start building around all of this thing. And I'm going to seal all of that up. Um, create a workway down there as well, probably. And we can start creating a surround for all the workings. So, not sure what block we're going to use yet. Um, I'll have a look and see what I think will look good. Um, probably stone bricks, if I'm honest. Um, because those look quite good. I'm quite a fan of those. So, I will work on covering all this up and then we'll start making us around probably stone bricks to make this look a bit better. Zombie. Zombie. Zombie nation. Yeah. Okay, so stone bricks. Um, yeah, I think it looks quite a bit better. Um, still a work in progress, obviously, but that's everything all kind of sealed away, hidden away, whatever way you want to say it. So basically, we can now start building a room around all of this. It'll be pretty big. Um, we're going to have at least three, maybe five walkway all around this centre centerpiece. Um, and we'll have various things coming off it as well. So like I said before, potion rooms and enchanting rooms and stuff like that. Um, another zombie up there. So yeah, uh, I think we're probably going to use a lot of nether brick in this building as well, as I really like that um, look of the nether brick together with the the stone brick. It looks really nice. Um, so yeah, things are looking good. So yeah, that's it for today guys. Um, again, thank you for watching the video. Please like, please subscribe. Uh, I'll stop saying that soon. Um, please watch previous videos if you haven't done so already. Oh, there's a dancing skeleton. He's off for a swim. Where's he off to? He's off somewhere. Oh, the mobs in this game are just so crazy sometimes. They really are. And I can't believe I still don't have this island mob proof yet. It looks like it should be light enough. But it's obviously not. So yeah, that's it for today. Um, thanks for watching the video. I hope you learned something. I know I did. Um, yeah, until next time, au revoir.